Hello. So it's 10 days before election day, and I'm running the first serious independent campaign for city council at large in Philadelphia. Thank you. Uh, I think everyone who voted for me is in this room. Uh, the uh, Governor Rendell has endorsed me, recorded a radio ad for me. Mayor Nutter has endorsed me. Uh, Bob Brady and Daryl Clark have come out against me. So it's helpful. Uh, these are heady times. I'm talking with political reporters who are telling me, we have two stories written. One is you get crushed by the machine. The other is that you make history. We don't know what's going to happen. And I'm like, I don't know what's going to happen either. But I have some money left in my campaign account. And I have no illusions about politics in, in Philadelphia. I need to put some, some money out on the street to help get votes out for me on election day. So I, uh, and people are coming to me saying, oh, you know, we can help you. Uh, Tony and Jimmy and Shonda, all made up names, are reaching out to me. And I'm texting people who are part of the, part of the political game. And they're telling me, he's a crook. She'll steal all your money. He's OK, but it'll only turn out 25% of the votes that, that you need. So I'm asking, all right, who should I talk to? You should go talk to Big O. You can trust him. You give him your money, he'll turn out the votes, he says. So I reach out to Big O. He tells me, I'll meet you at the Chestnut Hill Farmer's Market. <laughs> Drive up to Chestnut well, Hill. Won't talk to me on the phone, I guess. You, know, you never know whose phone is tapped in Philadelphia. Uh, drive up to Chestnut, drive up to Chestnut Hill. He pulls up in this huge Suburban, um, gets out. He's about 6'6", must be in his mid-40s, um, looks like a former football player, leans up against a stop sign pole. I'm convinced the stop sign pole's about to fall over. So he goes, what can I do for you? So I say, well, I'm looking to churn some votes out on election day. How much money you got? So I lowball him a little bit. I got, well, three, four thousand dollars. I charge five thousand dollars award. Really? Where do you? Uh, how do you come up with that number? Now, to give him credit, this is a businessman. He recites how much it costs for television, TV, uh, television, radio, direct mail, cost per vote. He says. I charge, 75, uh, I charge 75 cents a vote delivered to the polls. Can't guarantee that uh, they'll vote for you, but I get them there. All right. So what do, you, what do you want? He says, well, I said, well, we want someone you know, out there handing out my, my ballot on election day. Nah, this year, strictly a knock and drag operation. <laughs> so, um, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm new to this. I don't know what knock and drag is. He said, 11 o'clock, recites a list of awards. I have 2015 passenger vans. If you haven't voted, and I drag you to the polls. Now, in LA, even in New York, even in Boston and Chicago, this is called voter mobilization. Uh, get out the vote efforts. But in Philly, it's knock and drag. To be clear, we're still talking about getting 80-year-old ladies to the polls but it's a knock and drag operation. <laughs> so he drops down to $1,000 award, but we're just like, this is just, this is just not gonna work out. And he says to me, well, don't worry about it. Doc says you're an okay guy. Those of you who are not from Philadelphia know Doc is, is Johnny Doc, a very, a very powerful political figure in the, in the city. So, all right, that doesn't, that doesn't work out. And I met some really great grandmothers in, in North Philadelphia. So while this is, uh, that's not going to work out, so I talk to these grandmothers. And I'm like, oh, come work at the, the polls for me. They say, all right, we'll, we'll do it. It's the day before uh, election day. My wife and I are in the neighborhood. Handing out, uh, handing out information door to door, and an SUV pulls up. Window comes down, says, Doc wants to see you. <laughs> now, let's just be clear. Cell phones have been uh, widely available for 20 years. <laughs> and, uh, and Johnny, Doc, and I have exchanged a few friendly text messages over the, the course of the campaign, but a car was sent to find me. This is like, <laughs> this is Philly, right? So, uh, so get in the SUV. My wife's like, what are we doing? Where are we going? Uh, we, get, we go to election headquarters, and, uh, and we walk in, and the guy who's with me says, Doc, he puts up a finger to silence him. 
And, uh, and he says, no, I have Stober with me. And he jumps up. And the conversation we had, which is actually not very interesting, is not even worth, uh, it's not even worth the story slam. Um, but what is, is those grandmothers who I'd met in North Philadelphia, who I'd spent a lot of time talking to, 15 of them worked the polls for me that day. Paid them $100 each and uh, gave them lunch. And in those divisions in North Philadelphia, I won. I spent no other money in those divisions in North Philadelphia. I can guarantee you there were single digit numbers, people, if any, if we're honest, who knew me there. But I won those divisions. So while young people being involved in politics is really important, so are your grandmas. Thanks.